What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here, bringing another Black Desert online video, uh, and this is going to be a piece of a two-parter uh, for the Stars End 20 Hour Grind. Um, I wanted to show the rotation that I used kind of in full because this one's pulls are a little bit tricky in some areas uh, for the most part, and I didn't want to make super, super long video for people that wanted, you know, rotation that I'm using for it, and then just people that wanted the silver breakdown. So I decided let's just split it into two, and I'll reference the rotation in the silver breakdown video, which should be coming out the day after this one's released. So if you're seeing this right when it's released, the silver breakdown's out tomorrow. If you're seeing it after that, uh, then both will be out, and you'll have a link in the description once that's happened. So let me go ahead and play here. Um, for Star's End, um, I'll, I'll show you how to get to the rotation after this clip here. I just want to show once you're here the attack rotation. Um, obviously, full buffs and everything here. So once we get set up, we're going to zoom on in and go. So most of this area base is around bringing the mobs to these crystals here uh, because they can speed up your clear time drastically. Uh, killing these crystals is going to, as you'll see here, knock down these mobs. And once they're down, obviously, you want to drop a bunch of down attacks to get that bonus down attack damage and just kind of plow through them. In some cases, uh, they kind of spread out a little bit. So depending on your skills, you might not quite be able to hit them or you might need to reposition yourself like I did there. So that Spear Legacy would hit all of them to kind of finish them up. Um, there is also a small chance that, uh, that when that crystal explodes, instead of knocking them down, it actually um, just kills them instantly. So all the mobs that were in range of it will just instantly die and you move on to the next pull. The only small issue you might have, and if that happens, is if your pets aren't fast enough, you might not actually loot everything when it kills all of the mobs at once, but it's not that big a deal. Wait, wait another couple seconds and you'll be fine. Here, we're going to reach up, pull this guy and bring him down to this group. Um, so I try to keep, because you'll, you'll get your Z buff up quite a bit here, So I, and I try to keep my Z and E, you can see as you use E buff here, uh, for packs that aren't going to be using crystals, which there's a decent number of them, so it's pretty important that you land them. Um, and as far as food, I, uh, there was a posting on Reddit uh, recently um, that some of the extra damage percentage wasn't working, so I actually used the cron meal that has the, uh, the down attack damage bonus. Um, but uh, in this clip, I was using uh, the simple cron meal uh, just because we were testing some things from what uh, was posted on Reddit about cron meals not adding damage properly in general. So clear that pack through the crystal. We'll grab this pack right over here. And let's just skip forward just a little bit. Obviously, we kill this pack. Okay. And on to the next one eventually. So this one's another crystal pack. We go right up in front of this crystal pull these guys to bring them down and once I pull them I kind of get behind there just because that this big guy right here he does have a ranged attack so sometimes if you're not quick enough he'll stop and do the ranged attack first and we want to get him as close to that crystal as possible you can actually still hit him and it'll get hit by the crystal but if he's too far away again like I said your other skills um, won't land as well so we're gonna head off to the right here and pull that big dude over with us let's skip ahead here pull this guy and then group them all up here so we'll jump ahead boom attacking attacking jump ahead Oop, let's not jump that far ahead because you need to see that. So then we're going to run up to uh, the little cliff thing, I guess, or hill. These mobs, if you didn't have uh, an aggro limit on the other ones, you might have actually cleared. Um, you do more often than not, but not always. If you don't, then you just pull them on this pack, and they'll come right up the hill from here and follow you. Usually start attacking before they get here just because they take a little while. Okay, so kill that, and you get them cleared up. And now you're going to head over to the crystal. Oh, we're going to need to see that pull, though. Okay, so we're going to head over in f just in front of the crystal here and then pull this pack over to our right and then have them come up. And then, as you can imagine, this will be another crystal pack. So once they get here, just blow everybody up with the crystal down attack damage, etc. You kind of get the idea from here. And we've almost completed our circle for this uh, little pull spirit. So we'll zip through these guys so they aggro here. And then I'm going to pull them shadow strike there to bring them all over here. We group them up, we go into our skill rotation, etc, etc. And then we get two more packs and then we're back to where we started. So here's another crystal pull. Just bring them on down, zip behind the crystal so you get that guy to not use his range skill. Go in on the crystal and I believe we get, here's where you get to see where it kills them instantly. On this one. Yep, boom. So everybody dies right away. So you just get the loot and you're good to go. And then final pack before we get back to rotation or the beginning of the rotation rather, pull those guys over here, let them group up, we do our thing, and you get the idea, they're dead. And we are back to the beginning here, as soon as that guy's dead. 
back to the beginning where we'll just walk into those and then shadow strike that pack and this is the first crystal we started at so that's the rotation that i used um i got that from a friend of mine that showed me uh obviously i'm sure there are maybe more optimized ones that you could have but these are the ones i used for my 20 hour uh grind silver breakdown video so if you find that useful there it is go for it um, i'll go ahead and show you how to get to the rotation from the node manager in this next clip right here So first up to get there, starting from the node manager, um, just kind of follow along this path here. You get used to it after you've done it a few times through it, but go up around to where the little branch is hanging off, and then you pick the little middle path here, zip through house number one, stay to the left just through these mobs, and then we see house number two on the right, you stay to the left, and then there's a little house number three you'll pass, which is on your right here, stay to the left, and it looks like somebody is set up here, but you can just park your horse right up on this rock here, and it'll be safe. Uh, from here, if any mobs are, were aggroed that are chasing you on your horse, you can just kind of hang out here, and they will reset by the time they catch up to you. And this is where you'll leave your horse to park trash. That is it. So there you have it. That is our rotation for Star Zen that we use in our 20-hour grind video. Um, if you are catching this right when it went live, then be sure to check out the rest of the 20 hour grind coming out tomorrow. If you're catching it other, uh, on a day where it's already out, then you can just click in the link below down in the description uh, to check out the 20 hour grind video to see what the results were after that. Uh, so yeah, that is going to be it for this video. I want to thank everybody for watching and I will see you next time. Hey,